Let's take a look at how we draw a character in Photoshop, because obviously there are many different ways we could do it. I have found that there is a particular way of layering a character that is really, really powerful. Before we do that, we'll just open up a new image. So go File, New, and this will be pretty small, 1920 by 1080. You can work on a higher res if you like. I'm choosing this because it's a little faster if you're working on a slower computer. So let me just zoom in a bit. Hit Z on the keyboard and scrubby zoom in if you don't do it like that, then you'll have to do it like this. So I like scrubby zoom and we can switch off resize windows to fit now because otherwise this window gets big and small as we zoom in and out. Let's go down here and you see this little folder. Click on that to make a new folder and this little plus icon beside it to make a new layer. So let's rename group one to character and we'll rename this to a gesture. Now a gesture drawing traditionally uh, is a very fast drawing. I'm just going to choose a brush and this runny inker. You can pick any brush you like. These are the ones we set up in the previous movie. They're all kind of nice and scratchy and natural media, so they'll keep us nice and loose. So like I said, I've chosen runny inker and a quick gesture drawing should be fast. So, you know, you're drawing almost without lifting your pen off the page. You're really not uh, worrying too much about the uh, pose. I'm not using like my erase tool. That would be a mistake. You flow and you just keep drawing. If you don't like it, you control A and then control X, get rid of it and start over again. So this time I'm going to, maybe not quite so fast, but still pretty fast. And this is a classic like 1940s style character. You'll notice too the beauty of this is there's a flow to it. Now, if we flip horizontal, uh, which is a little trick that I do a lot, you'll see it's a little off center, looks a little wonky. So control T, I'm just going to fix that. And now that's looking nice. If I flip back again, I'll see, yeah, we can re-level that foot now. So I'm going to go with something like this. And now we we'll proceed to the rough. So we'll make a new layer and we'll call this one rough. On the layer below, I'm going to right click and go blending options. And under color overlay, we'll pick a nice blue color. This one's fine. Click OK. And it's turned the entire thing into a nice blue. And that'll be uh, a way to separate the gesture drawing from the rough drawing above. And you can right click on this layer too and make that blue. And now you can't go wrong. You can see exactly which one is which. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to take the gesture drawing opacity down. And now it's really, really easy to tell one from the other. Now at this point, I'll slow down a little bit. And uh, we still want to be, you know, reasonably quick. Don't get too precious. And if I feel like the gesture drawing is overwhelming, I can just bring it down a bit. I just need it to be a ghost. And uh, that's pretty nice. I'm not worrying about this line here. We can draw through. And I'll definitely fix things. The, the gesture is a gesture. It's not going to be worrying me if I change anything. It's just to get the pose, the basic flow and energy of the uh, desired character. We can switch that off. Not too bad. Now, you may have a different drawing level than me. You might be better. You might be a beginner. So I don't want you to obsess about doing a really clean drawing. It took me a long time to even become vaguely comfortable with this kind of traditional uh, animation style, kind of the classic style of, say, the 1940s. So, you know, it will take a while if you've never done it before. You may have a completely different style. Work in that style. I do not expect anybody to copy what I'm doing here perfectly. So now I'm going to make some little alterations here. I would like to put some outline of his body. And of course, we do have the construction. So the, this part of the process, we really want to be focused on the construction of the torso. And if we have the head here. So what I want to have here is a fairly simple character, but one that's much freer than you would get if you were working in a puppet system. So if you are working in something like Harmony and the Harmony puppet system, or if you're working in Flash or Animate CC, this is the kind of thing that you might find uh, ends up looking a little bit stiff. So one of the beauties of drawing, as you can see, we can flow one body part into the next the arm flows into the body. This is the kind of thing that I've always found, no matter how much work I put into it in Flash or, or, or any puppet system, never quite looks like a drawing. A drawing just has that extra advantage. So that's it. And uh, let me control H, my custom shortcut, and I'm going to go control T, make a slight alteration there. And I think I'd like to give him an ear as well. 
I don't want to saddle this with too much detail because I just basically want to show the process by which we're going to turn this into a final piece of artwork. But let's give him some, some eyes. And I can't help it, I'm going to just give him a little more personality here. That's it. I like that. That's not too bad. There's certainly fine tuning we can do. That'll be in the next phase where we go into the tie down, where we begin to polish it and get it ready for the, the next step.